Shalom. Greetings in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. I want to share the word of God and then I'm going to pray with you. I want to speak the word of God that God has put in my heart. Fear not, I am fighting for you. God has sent me to you at this hour to tell you, fear not, for I am fighting for you. I am reading the Bible, Isaiah chapter number 41, verse number 8 to 15. God is saying, fear not. God is saying that you are my servant. You are in my chosen generation. You are not just a normal person. The moment you received Christ Jesus in your heart, you became part of the chosen generation. God has called you into his kingdom through Jesus Christ our Lord and Savior. The Bible says in the book of John 3.16, For God so loved the world. In simple, God chose to redeem the world. He chose to welcome you into the kingdom. He gave his only begotten son that whatsoever believes in him shall not perish but shall have eternal life. Anytime you are connected to Christ Jesus, anytime you have accepted Jesus Christ as the Lord and Savior of your heart, you become part of the family, the kingdom family, the chosen generation, people that have been called by the name of God. Hallelujah. The Bible says in the book of Numbers, chapter number 6, verse number 24, that you shall put the name of God upon them, and I shall bless them. When you are a chosen generation, the name of God is upon you, and you become part of the blessed generation. Hallelujah. Maybe you have gone through a rotten life, and you feel that you have been living a cursed life. But God has sent me to you to decree and to declare over your life, over your destiny, that you are blessed man, you are blessed woman, you are blessed child, your ministry is blessed, your business is blessed, your employment is blessed, your career is blessed, your standards are blessed, you shall make it in the name of Jesus Christ. Isaiah chapter number 41 verse number 8. But thou, Israel, art my servant. Hallelujah. Remember, Israel, it is a spiritual, it is a spiritual calling. You are the modern day Israelites by virtue of your Christ, by virtue of you being in Christ. Watch this. The Bible says in the book of Galatians, chapter number 3, verse number 7, Know therefore that which are in faith, the same are the children of Abraham. By faith you become a child of Abraham. In the spirit you become an Israelite, the chosen generation of God. The right range of Abraham. Whatever God promised to Abraham, it becomes your heritage in Christ Jesus. Isaiah 41 verse number 8. Thou Israel, that is you, my servant, whom I have chosen, the seed of Abraham, my friend. The seed of Abraham, my friend. I know you did not get this. But check. Galatians 3 7. It says, Know therefore that which are of faith, Faith means believing in Christ Jesus in this perspective. You are the children of Abraham, my friend. And in Isaiah 41 verse number 8, you are the seed of Abraham, my friend. You are my chosen generation, my servant. And a time you receive Jesus Christ, you become part of this higher calling. I as a man anointed of God for this hour. I am a servant of God. I am in the chosen generation. You watching this broadcast. The moment you give your life to Jesus. 
and if you have not given your life to Jesus, I'm going to pray for you today. I'm going to make sure that you are in the category of the chosen generation. People that are called by the name of God. Children of Abraham by faith in Christ Jesus. Verse number 9, Isaiah 41 verse number 9. Thou whom I have taken from the ends of the earth, and called thee from the chief men therefore, and said unto thee, Thou art my servant, I have chosen thee, and not cast thee away. God is saying, out of the entire things that happen in the universe, the entire population of the universe, I have chosen thee. You are a special person. As you're watching this broadcast, realize that you, you are a peculiar person. You carry the DNA of Abraham by faith. And watch this. God said to Abraham, I will bless you. And I will bless anybody that blesses you. Hallelujah. Right now I speak a blessings over your life. Anybody that has blessed you, let them be blessed. Let them be lifted in the name of Jesus. And also God said to Abraham, Anybody that curses you, I'll curse them. You don't need to struggle when you are a child of God by faith in Christ Jesus. There is a word that is speaking. If you bless me, you shall be blessed. If you curse me, you shall be cursed. That is the word of God. What he said to Abraham, I'm speaking the word. You are a chosen generation viewer. You are a chosen generation, my brother. My sister, you are a chosen generation. You have been called by God into the precious kingdom of our Lord Jesus Christ. If you continue reading Galatians chapter number 3 verse number 8. And the scripture, foreseeing that God would justify the heathen through faith, preached before the gospel and to Abraham, saying, In thee shall all nations be blessed. This is a prophetic dimension. We are traveling from the past to the present to the future. Behold the curtain of time. The scripture saw it back in those days in the book of Genesis. The story of Abraham. God saw that there are people that are will come in future, you and I. And they will require a platform of blessing. They will require a blessing to stand on. And God saw it in, in, in those days. And he said, I will bless nations through you. It doesn't matter. In whichever continent you are in, maybe you are in North America, South America, Australia, Antarctica, Africa, Asia, <clears throat> New Zealand, Brazil, or any part of the world that you are in, any race, any color, you are black, you are white, you are red, it doesn't matter. What matters is what is in your heart, what you have accepted what you have confessed that I am a child of God in Christ Jesus I am the seed of Abraham by faith God saw it and he said to Abraham I have called you and I will bless people through you Shabbat de Samoya decree I am a seed of faith I am a seed of Abraham by faith in Christ Jesus number two God is saying today that he will strengthen you and help you. Viewer, you need physical and spiritual strength. In your days here on earth, you need physical strength and spiritual strength. The Bible says in Isaiah chapter number 41, verse number 10, Fear not, for I am with thee, be not dismayed, for I am thy God. 
I'll strengthen you. Yeah, I'll help you. I will uphold thee with the right art of my righteousness. <laughs> Remember, Jesus is the righteousness of God. And where is Jesus Christ? He dwells inside us. The moment we accepted salvation, the moment we entered into the new covenant, the new testament, the Bible says, and I will make a new covenant in their hearts. Jesus came as a new covenant to us. Open your heart. Receive Jesus. Walk with Jesus. Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God, Jehovah God Almighty. He is God Himself. He is more than what people think He is. He will strengthen you. There are people that are suffering right now because you lack spiritual strength. That's why demons, sorcerers, witches, wizards, they are fighting you to and fro. Like now, receive the power of our Lord Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ, be empowered. Receive strength in the name of Jesus Christ. Number three, God is saying, I am destroying and putting to shame whatever has risen against you. That situation, that disease, that condition, God is putting it to shame and he is destroying it. Watch this. Isaiah chapter number 41, verse number 11. Behold, all they that were incensed against thee, them that were fighting, that force that was fighting you, it shall be ashamed and confounded. They shall be as nothing. Somebody lift your heart in prayer, say, whatever has been fighting me, I have realized that you are nothing. You devil, you demon, you sorcerer, you witch, you black magic. I have realized that you are nothing. By the virtue of the word of God in Isaiah 41 verse number 11. Behold all that were fighting against thee shall be ashamed and be confounded. They shall be as nothing. They that strive with thee, they shall perish. It is the word of God. Isaiah 41 verse number 11. Whatever has been fighting your destiny, whatever has been fighting your, your, uh, your progress, whatever has been fighting your blessings, the word of God is saying, God is putting it down, and that thing, that demonic entity, it shall perish in the name of Jesus Christ. It is the word of God. There is power in the word of God. And I say, as I said to you, that Jesus Christ is the word of God. The word that we are leading, we are leading Christ. The anointed one of God. Watch this. Verse number 12. Isaiah 41 verse number 12. Thou shalt seek them and shalt not find them. Even them that contended with thee. They that war against thee, oh my God, they that contend with me, they that war against me, they shall be as nothing. They shall be as nothing. Verse number 13, Isaiah 41, verse number 13. For I, the Lord thy God, will hold thy right hand. Saying unto thee, Fear not, I will help you. God is holding you by his right hand. The right hand of God is going to fall upon you. There is a divine protection that is coming upon you as you are listening to this mystery in the word of God. Number four, God is saying, I am anointing you. I am anointing you for spiritual battle. I am anointing you for spiritual warfare. Isaiah 41 verse number 15. Behold, I will make thee 
a new sharp dressing instrument having teeth thou shalt dress mountains and beat them into small thou shalt make the eels as chaff he kamandodi abakanteli abazai kwa lugha ya Kiswahili tunasema ya kwamba Mungu anakuja kukutia makali atakufanya kama chombo kilicho na uwezo wa kusiaga kuangamiza milima kuangamiza vilima kusiaga na kuangamiza God is making you to be a new instrument like a grinder like a excavator to grind mountains to destroy hills for the glory of his name that is anointing for battle Shabbat lift your hand say Jesus I am lady Jehovah God Almighty in the name of Jesus make me an instrument with sharp having teeth to thresh to destroy mountains to beat them to small in the name of Jesus give me that power give me that anointing in the name of Jesus Christ in my ministry in my calling in my salvation way of life I don't want just to be a normal person I want to be a peculiar chosen generation by you God I die know that you are using me as a new instrument in the name of Jesus Christ roba ya kilini na kentoshka baranene kentoshka second colossians chapter number 10 verse number 4 I'm talking about anointing for spiritual battle, anointing for spiritual warfare to destroy the works of darkness, to destroy the works of Satan. Ephesians chapter number 6 verse number 10. Finally brethren, be strong in the Lord in the power of his might. Put the whole armor of God that you may be able to destroy the works of darkness. Second Corinthians chapter number 10 verse number 4. For the weapons of our warfare, they are not carnal but they are mighty through God to pulling down of strong owns mighty through God to the pulling down of strong owns you are being empowered for spiritual battle to destroy the strong owns in your family to destroy the strong owns that are fighting your marriage to destroy the strong owns that are fighting your career to destroy the strong owns that are fighting your health in the name of Jesus Christ begin to receive this impartation this anointing to destroy strongholds verse number 5 second corinthians 10 verse number 5 casting down imaginations and every high thing that exalted itself against the knowledge of god we have things in this world the power of darkness tries to exalt itself against the work of God but you have been given power to destroy strongholds and to destroy every imagination right now every imagination that has exalted itself against the knowledge of God for blessing you let it be destroyed right now in the name of Jesus Christ and bring into captivity every thought to the obedience of Christ right now whatever has been fighting you let it submit to the kingdom of our lord jesus christ let it submit unto your feet in the name of jesus christ verse number 6 and having in readiness to revenge all disobedience when our obedience is complete watch this you can only receive this spiritual impartation when your obedience is complete and how do we achieve this total obedience by total commitment of our faith and to god total dependence on god total devotion on on god in christ jesus back in your mind you need to have the mind of christ the mentality of christ that i cannot make it without christ that that is one of the basics of obedience and to god that knowing that i am nothing without christ paul said i am crucified with christ i am no longer the same person who lives but it is christ who dwells in me the life that i live in the flesh i live it for the sake of christ jesus 
who died for me. It's called self-denial for the sake of Christ. Counting yourself as nothing for the sake of Christ. Praise the name of the living God. Viewer, whenever you're watching this broadcast, I want to pray with you. I want to pray that the power of God is going to come upon you. And this message that God is saying, Fear not, I am fighting for you. Isaiah 41, verse number 8 to 15. God is saying you are the chosen generation. You are my servant. You are my daughter. You are my son. I will fight for you. I will level mountains for you. I will fill valleys for you. You are the seed of Abraham by faith in Christ Jesus. The blessings that God gave Abraham, they are part of you in the name of Jesus. I decree and I declare, as the word of God is saying today, that God is going to strengthen you and to help you. May it come to pass in your life. Any kind of help, any kind of God's intervention that you, you are in need of at this hour, begin to receive it right now in the name of Jesus Christ. I decree and I declare, as the word of God is saying today, that God is destroying and putting to shame whatever has listened against you. In Isaiah 41 verse number 11, let it come to pass right now in the name of Jesus, I pray. Matoli Bakilenia Mazai. As God is saying today that I am anointing you for spiritual battle, as the anointing is being increased in my spirit, I pray also for you. Receive the anointing to fight and to win all spiritual battles in the name of Jesus Christ. Receive the weapons of God to put down strongholds in the name of Jesus Christ. Any sickness, any battle, I command it out in the name of Jesus Christ. Receive your deliverance, your salvation, your healing, your deliverance in the name of Jesus Christ. May the Lord bless you, viewer. May the Lord do you good in the name of Jesus Christ. If you feel like, like supporting this work that we are doing, preaching the gospel, building churches, doing fellowships, doing mission outreach, you can write to me through the number on the screen. You can donate to our ministry. You can donate to the work of God that we are doing. And you can also volunteer to be part of our mission team here in Kenya. And you shall be blessed in the name of Jesus Christ.